it's a glorious day for football here in Dortmund. The venue, the Zignali Duna Park. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And we have action from the semi-final stage of the European Continental Shield coming up. It is Braga up against Marseille. Well, the group stage is over, Derek, down to just four teams now. It's been a good tournament, hasn't it? Great preparation for the season ahead. I'm sure both teams are looking to cap it off with the final in the next few days. So here is the lineup. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Christian Borja. Sporar. Ruiz. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Could be! And just narrowly wide in the end. Well, everybody's disappointed, none more so than the manager. Just look at him. Well, he's disappointed with the fact they haven't taken the lead, but he'd be pleased with the way they're playing. Abel Ruiz. And he's got the beating of his opponent. A very good tackle. So a throw in here. Papge. Dieng. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Toba. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Now, how about the short corner? Toba. Throw-ins given. Flag up, tight offside. Borja. Lucas Piazon. Abel Ruiz. Piazon. Fruitful looking attack. Very quick thinking there. Tova. Papge. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Tova. This looks promising. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Abel Ruiz. Galeno. Oxley Chamberlain. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? I don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead. Well, they've given him too much space. 
He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Dario Benedetto. Well, since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Tova. Couldn't quite hang on. The angle didn't really favour him. Not too far away. Well, I guess it's worth a chance. He's in a tight angle there, but could he pull it back to a teammate? Lucas Piazon. Here's Oxley Chamberlain. Oxley Chamberlain. And here's Galeno. Wonderful chance. Able to close down the shot. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Tremendous block. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed-on pen. The ref didn't know. Now the attack looks promising. Can he give them the lead? And still danger here. Well, from a seemingly impossible angle, not far away at all. Well, he thought he had a decent chance to score. I'm not sure his teammates did, though, but a little bit unlucky. Ruiz. How could he take them on and beat them? As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Did well to win the ball back. Oh, it might be. And there it is. 1-0. The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, there's all types of goals, spectacular headers, overhead kicks. This is a simple one, but it still adds up to a goal on the score sheet. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Yang. Papage. Read it superbly to take back possession. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. That's not a bad ball. No nonsense clearance. Chalet Atsar. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. A 
And he read it superbly. Into the advanced position. An attack for a promise. But it can't get all the way through. This corner could be useful to them. Played into the centre of the box. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Oxley Chamberlain. Well, he just let his opponent glide by. Oh, he's through here. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. It's going their way, 2-0. Papagay. Well, they know they need to stop him. Marseille have lost it. Well, big news concerning Chelsea on the transfer front. The fans delighted that they've got their man, Lee. I think he'll add some real quality to this new club. He's a tick chance here. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. And a chance for him on the flank. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. He's enjoying space. And space for the cross. Chance to finish! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Chalet Atsar. Tovan. Not problematic for the keeper. Joao Novais. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Do you challenge a Tsar? Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Lucas Piazon. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And the flag has gone up offside. 
Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Carmo. Horta with it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Beautifully timed. And space to attack. And the cross is very much on. In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And finishing like that with a lovely headed goal is absolutely superb. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Bayet. Nicely timed tackle. It did take a touch on the way through, hence a corner. Over it comes. Well, he didn't trouble the goalkeeper, but it wasn't a straightforward chance, you've got to say. Yuri Medeiros. Luca Pera. Ricardo Orta wanted to keep it but couldn't. Chalet Atsar. Great pressure to win the ball back. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Clearing their lines, and so it will be a corner now. Played into the centre of the box. Gives it a go. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. Payet. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Chalet Atsar.
Gaitan. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Can he take the chance? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again, and all the credit goes to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions about the keeper. He's got to have that covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Chalet Atsar. I'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Gaitan. The referee's whistle, and it is official. The hosts are going to the final. Well, because of what's at stake, i.e. a final, semi-finals can be a bit nervy at times. Not the case this time. The semi-final was a breeze. An easy march to that big game. Can't wait for the final, to be honest with you. Let's wait and see whether they can produce what they did in the semis. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in.